What's going on all you sexy people? How you doing today? It's John Brewer here with the uh, Socially Distant Supper Club, The Daily Brewer. Uh, January 12th, 2021, year of our Lord. We got a lot to get, lot to, get to, but let's get to it. Boy, I got fired up again. Uh, went yesterday to Kapow and hung out with Von Dugan and also Troy Ganter, who is the owner at Papa's Raw Bar and Matt Smith, who is a manager there and also has his own uh, media company. He does great stuff. He's got an awesome camera. Anyway, we had a great time hanging out, exchanging ideas, doing all kinds of fun stuff together. Really got me energized again to collaborate with as many people as possible, help get the words out there. All right, restaurants, let's get our third, fourth wind, whatever it takes right now. Uh, I think a lot of people, and I'm not pointing anybody out, but we're, we're, we're letting stuff uh, Slip through the cracks, and that's the last thing I want to see as things slip through the cracks. So we've got a lot to get to. Let's get to it. The first thing I want to announce is www.thesdsc.com is going to be adding a curbside tab. So that means if you want to find curbside in Delray Beach, you'll be able to go to our website, and you will be able to click on the tab that says curbside, and every restaurant that wants to participate has to send us a basically send us an email that says you want to. And the reason why we're doing this is because so many people that I've just seen today are saying, I want to dine out, I want to do curbside, I don't want to go into a restaurant, but I'm not getting the service that I expect. That's a problem, okay? And like I said, any restaurant, call me, ask me, I'll walk through your steps of service with you, we can talk about it, I'm here for you, it's free. But you got to be nailing the curbside because you know what happens? Someone drives away, they go home, and they look at the food or they think about the experience. They don't say anything. They don't go on to Yelp. They just don't go to your restaurant anymore. And that's a problem. We don't want to see that happen. Like I said, I want to see everybody on the other side of COVID. I want to see every restaurant open on the other side of COVID. That's our goal. We want all our local restaurants to stay around. But it's up to you guys to empower yourself. And I can help you do that if you need help. The idea is simple. Curbside needs to be treated equally, if not more, than the dine-in and then the takeout experience. What do I mean? It means you need to make your orders contactless. It means people should be able to order online. It means there should be no cash being exchanged. It means everything, the tip, whatever, is automatically taken care of before they arrive. When they arrive, there needs to be clear markings. Where do you want us to park? How do you want us to do this? Where do you, what do you want us to do? Then there needs to be somebody, an ambassador for the restaurant that goes right outside and says, hey, how are you? I see you. What's your name? Let us get your order for you. Absolutely. And then you're going to drop it off in the trunk. You're going to be neatly dressed. You're going to have all your, you're going to have your uniform on. You're going to do all this stuff. Not only will this help you with your curbside, those people are going to want to dine in. And when they're ready to dine in, they're going to go to your restaurant because you nailed the curbside. It's important. I've been talking about this for a while. You guys got to nail that curbside. I'm here to help you guys out. Uh... Just want to re remind everybody, it's Lobster Tuesday. Ellie's does their great steamed lobster, $25.95, I believe it is, $24.95. You get potatoes, you get steamed corn on the cob. It's awesome stuff. If you're looking for a place to uh, treat yourself tonight, definitely think about Ellie's. They're awesome. We love Ellen. We love uh, the, the smell of family. They're awesome, awesome people. And... Uh, Keep Ellie's in your thoughts if you're looking for a place to dine out. I'm asking all these questions of people because I'm really trying to zero in right now. How often do you dine out? How do you like to dine out? Do you prefer curbside? Back to curbside again. You know, don't just think that you're missing out on seniors, you know, be, you know or people that are at risk that are older. Uh, that's not the case, and I'm a perfect example of that. My mom was staying with us for a while, and she was in her 70s and had emphysema. So we basically shut everything down. Uh, I still did takeout, and I still did curbside, but we did not dine out unless we knew exactly where we were going. I think we went once to Crazy Uncle Mike's and sat outside in the back away from everybody. So uh, don't just think you're missing out on a small section of your audience. You're not. You're missing out on a big section of your audience. People with asthma, 
people who may have weight issues, people with diabetes, people with any kind of health risks, especially right now with the caseloads that seem to be increasing, those, that's your audience and you don't want to miss these folks. And unfortunately, if you drop the ball on the curbside and the takeout, you're going to lose these guys. So I want to make sure that everybody's open to as much audience as possible. So please, 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 if you have any questions, get with me on that. You can send your emails to info at thesdsc.com. So if you know a restaurant out there, please point them in the right direction. We need to get this ramped up. We need to let people know who's nailing their curbside. Uh, who's doing a great job with their curbside. You can do it by video, you can do it by meme, you can do it by photos. That's the other thing I got into social media and what everybody should be doing right now as far as a restaurant goes. I would be doing three posts per day. I would be doing three posts per day and they would pertain to one of the three C's. COVID, which is probably the most important thing right now. Yes, I said that. More important than your food and more important than anything else. What are you doing to make sure people are safe? Are your employees being tested when they walk in? Are you sanitizing everything? Are you, are you using best practices? Is everybody wearing a mask? Uh, are you guys, when you bring the food out to the cars, are you, you know, following best protocols everywhere? People want to see that now more than ever. Uh, then we go into curbside. How are you doing your curbside? What's the protocol? Make sure that, it, you know, that, that you guys are, are, are nailing it, like I said. And then your cuisine, your food. Uh, you want to present it in your best light. Maybe it's a picture of your chef flipping over some sizzling steaks. Real quick, 30 seconds, nothing longer than that. Uh, I know you guys can do it out there. So, uh, Kapow. Kapow is a great restaurant. They're doing great stuff. Von Dugan and his staff down there, awesome people doing great work. If you haven't been to Kapow in, uh, Kapow in Boca Raton, I highly recommend it. And if you're in the business, Monday, Mondays, they do a special. If you're an in-the-business person, if you're a restaurant worker, if you're a cook, if you're a chef, if you're a hostess, if you're a server, if you're a bartender, if you're any one of these things, uh, go in there, you show them a pay stub or whatever it may be, you get half off of everything. That's everything in there. And they've got great craft cocktails. They've got great craft beers. They've got great food that is absolutely phenomenal. I had the lobster rangoon, was absolutely amazing. A little cream cheese in it and a crispy crust on the outside. It's kind of like the wontons that you get uh, with a little sweet and sour and the hot mustard, which I absolutely love. Gets your eyes all watery, clears your noses out. Clears your nasal passages out. They also have great sushi there. They do a crunchy rice dish that we had that was absolutely phenomenal. They do fried rice there. So many great options there. Boca Raton, Kapow, check them out. Uh, also, uh, using the search button. So uh, I, I sent out, I put out a, a post. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. We're gonna start not posting. Uh, we're not. We're gonna. We're gonna stop approving the post basically for. Uh, ISO we call it is seeking out because it's starting to clog and we're getting a lot of redundancy uh, you know what's the best Chinese what's the best Italian what's the best this so I showed everybody the magnifying glass there's a there's a post through here it's an announcement so you can check it out all you got to do is type in you press the magnifying glass you're gonna get one of those search bars type in Chinese and anybody who's referred to Chinese food all those posts are going to pop up. So you can pick any one of those restaurants there and take a look at them. You can go Thai, you can go sushi, you can go Italian. You can also do the name of the restaurant. Somebody asked me about Amar. I said, check them out. Just type in A-M-A-R, boom. All the posts that relate to Amar come right up. It's a really great feature and uh, we need our folks to use it uh, more often. So uh, let's, let's uh, please try to keep up with that. Uh, definitely we'll cut down on some of the clutter. Um... Did you guys see the reef drop the other day? It's kind of a side note. Did you guys see the reef drop the other day? It's absolutely awesome. Basically right off of Sunday House, or actually right off of where the uh, boathouse is, the little place where you can rent, um, um, you can rent like uh, surfboards and wakeboards and all that stuff. If you go off the shore there, probably about half a mile, I would say, they dropped a whole bunch of cement. Uh, they're kind of cones that have holes in them, and this is gonna turn into a uh, reef, and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. It's gonna be great stuff to dive. It's gonna be a great place to fish. It's gonna be a really cool thing. So uh, check it out if you haven't seen. I forget, I think you go to one of the uh, ecology pages we have here. I'll post it, you guys will see it. It's pretty awesome stuff. 
Um, so using the search bus, and we talked on that. Did you guys see the picture of Tom and Nicole, the two Tom and Nicoles? I thought that was absolutely awesome. We love nothing more than knowing that we've introduced restaurant people to other restaurant people. Restaurant people are usually so darn busy that they're tied at the hip to their restaurants. So they're either in their restaurants or they're off somewhere else gallivanting the one day maybe that they get off per week. But Tom and Nicole went to hang out with Tom and Nicole. And Tom and Nicole have pigsty right off of uh, Boynton Beach Boulevard right by I-95. And the other Tom and Nicole have Nicoletta's, which is out west in Boynton Beach. And they've been a big, big part of our story. They've been doing great stuff out there. They do pizza specials. Uh, they do a great job out there with contactless as well. So go check those guys out. Pigsty and Nicoletta's. Love the picture. Absolutely brought me to tears. It's great to see that we've been able to kind of cross connect so many different people here. Awesome stuff. Um, uppercuts and prime cuts. Delray Beach Boxing. Calling all my guys out there and ladies too. We'd love to have you. Go to... Uh, I don't have it. Where is it? Rib, ribcagebattle.com, www.ribcagebattle.com. And there's offerings there from $50 on up, depending on what kind of a package you want. Chef Justin is going to be there. He's going to be cooking all the meats and turning out all the food that's going to be there. And uh, there's going to be at least five bouts. These are semi-professional boxers, so it's not going to be a bunch of guys just dancing around and flailing their hands sideways. Nothing worse than watching amateur boxers. Uh, these are going to be real pro boxers. They're going to they're going to get up in your face and up in your grill, and they're going to bob and weave and 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 throw hooks and throw this. Be a good time. Delray Beach Boxing Facility. We're going to clear out all the equipment in there. We're going to make it nice and open, socially distanced. There's going to be an outdoor cigar smoking area uh, sponsored by Monte Cristo. It's just going to be a fun, fun night. January 28th. It's a Thursday. Go to www.ribcagebattle.com. And if you go in the promo section, put in SDSC. That's SDSC, and you'll get a $10 discount. So you can take that $10 and buy yourself a drink because they will offer one cocktail with most of the packages, but after that, it will be a bar situation where you pay for your cocktails. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll be there. Uh, Evan Darnell and the Red Meat Lovers are putting this on. And the best part about it is... It, the money goes to Make-A-Wish Foundation. So uh, this is for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. If you don't know about the Make-A-Wish Foundation, it's a national, might even be a global organization that grants wishes for kids that are potentially or are terminally ill. So it is a great, great thing. I've been a part of this ever since I lived in LA, which is whew, back in the 90s. And they do great, great work. So uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Evan Darnell, Red Meat Lovers Club, uh, it's going to be a great night, January 28th, Thursday, put it in your calendars, five fights, lots of red meat, lots of food, drinks, and cigar smoking. What, are you kidding me? That's a fun time, everybody. Look forward to seeing everybody there. Uh, like I said, social media guys, you guys need any help with any of that? I'm here. All you got to do is email me at john at the sdsc.com. You can hit me up with a, a message. I may not get back to you right away. Uh, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, that's it. Chef Winston Williams, what's going on, my friend? Marcello Rosano, got to get your pizza, man. I've been hearing great things about it. You're over there by the, uh, the collective, the uh, fresh food. I forget what it's called, collective. Jack Adams, what's going on, my friend? Great to see you. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate the comments. And uh, that's it, everybody. Have a fantastic day. We will talk to you soon. Don't forget, order up, and we will see you later. God bless, everybody.